Oh man, we have uh, we we have made it back home safe and sound. Hi, hello, how are ya? Traveling back home from France was super smooth. I uh, I got to watch Charlie in the Chocolate Factory for the third time, which was you know, it was a pleasurable experience to say the least. My ski bag is is still lost. It it's somewhere in the pits of France. We're going on week three now, and nobody can seem to locate it. So big shout out to Air Canada and British Airways for collaborating on this project and making it come to fruition. Much appreciated. If you guys wanna check out the last three vlogs from the France trip, I'll leave them linked in the description below. But this video is about Sammy Carlson. He's about as royalty as you get in the ski scene. Growing up in Oregon, Mount Hood was his local. He made his debut in slope style, taking home multiple X Games medals. Eventually won gold in 2015, back when we would see kangaroo flips and top tier podium runs. Here, he's gonna go for the right side kangaroo flip. He went on to change his focus to the backcountry, hitting some of the gnarliest pillow lines and natural features on the planet. Uh, eventually won X Games Real Ski Backcountry after producing one of the most notorious free ride edits of all time. And over the last few years, he's been focusing on almost annual projects, annual film releases with Quicksilver. A couple of years ago, he released North of Now. Last year, we saw Yup. And then this year, a couple of weeks ago, he released Kamase. An ancient Japanese saying that means kill it. This is your first time watching Sammy Ski. I, I wanna congratulate you. You're about to have one of the biggest and best moments of your entire life here. Everything he throws is, is completely effortless. It looks effortless, it's weightless. Regardless of the massive 121 white walkers below his feet there, that is a huge ski. To be able to wrap around three blunt just to a simple pow slash is not easy unless you're pulling big sumo squats for breakfast or rocking a breed of carbon fiber in that core that's been unseen by mankind. Oh, and his ability to find snow on the globe, regardless of whatever area is having a dry spell, he finds the snow. It's insane. Every single year, he has, he has one of the best snow years of his entire life. Textbook Sammy Carlson, flat axis there, going for Japan, tossing around lead safety. So sick. Japan is just a completely different breed. Oh, huge tomahawk after going for the backy off that surf deck. Sammy coming up. Yeah, dude, double tap there on the pillow, coming around 360. You can see how he whips the threes around with his skis before his body finishes the rotation. Kind of like a continual overshifty on it. Oh, the snow is just tasteful. Big switch cars. Oh. If you've never had the pleasure of going to Japan, it's just not the volume of snow, it's the texture as well. It's so light, so fluffy that you could have such a mellow section, such a mellow in-run and still have enough speed to carry through. Oh, the orange base on the White Walker is crazy. Textbook flat three. Debatably has the nicest flat spin out of any skier in the entire culture. Anytime you're landing backwards in powder, that adds just a whole new level of difficulty to the stunt. Flat five, trailing safety on it as well. So scrumptious. Oh, can you imagine skiing there? Oh, one footed kick on the flat three, locking and trailing Japan with the other hand there, keeping that one leg dormant. Dude, oh man, the contrast with the white and the reddish orange. Oh. You gotta love him in his legs. Guaranteed his legs are stronger than that of a full tusk elephant. Dude, does not get any better than his flat spins. Oh, heavy link, flat through Japan. Gets his bearing, somehow matches the speed perfectly to hit that one little oomph on the pillow there. Gets another left three wrapped around. Yeah, big switch fiver. We obviously had an exceptional snowfall last year. We're hurting for snow right now. Revelstoke has pushed its opening day till, well, I think it's opening now, but it wasn't till middle of December and it's still pretty patchy up there. Definitely not looking like this though. Oh, what was that? Inside crit? Oh, switch five and then taking his same hand, grabbing the same ski inside edge above the boot. I, do, I don't know, inside crit, inside safety. So sick with the switch fiver. Tapping that other ski with the other hand. He's just in full control every time he's tossing a stunt. It's crazy. Oh, 
He's a friggin' gymnast with extra class. Like, he just bounces. Again, keep in mind the skis he's throwing with, man. 121 underfoot. That, like, that's a, that's a big ski. Oh, and he's throwing it around like it's a miniature Susan Boyle. It's just ridiculous. Watch now. Leveling up to the top now. Oh, pulls around switch three. Again, when you land switch and pal, you got to go against every formality with a normal conventional landing. You got to go full nose heavy. Keep those knees together nice and glued. Somehow pray that you're going to wrap around the fact that he bounced off of it. Not just landed, but bounced and popped that switch one out. Crazy. Comes out cork. Sev leads safety. Tweaking up those knees. Oh. See, that's not a line. That's just meant to be witnessed by you and I from a safe distance above. Oh, holy sweet sack. Switch three to switch five. Still lands on pillow. Gaps down. Probably could have wrapped around another three if you wanted to, but our hearts wouldn't be able to take it. I'm on a new level. Rob seven. Follows up, huge core three. There's no perspective other than the one in the flesh that could tell you just how truly steep that is. That is almost as steep as a full-on vert ramp. The fact midway, mid-run, he pulls out a 720 and then has enough time to link up that 360 off that little side hit. Unreal. The fact that these boys are just throwing this so casually, man. Like, this should not be possible. Straight to tree. That kind of gives a throwback a little bit. Obviously very different, but a throwback to T. Hall last year when he smashed right into that goalpost pine tree setup. Oh, no! Sammy's obviously uh, no stranger to injuries. Had a massive knee blowout, I think, in 2012. Sometime around there, that postponed his competitive career for a little bit. Obviously, I'm sure there's a whole boatload. Oh, of other injuries on the resume here, but he's still getting after it at the young age of 34. Tweak and mute at the end there. Too easy for him. Now we get into the, the big, big stuff. As if big wasn't big enough before. I've yet to get into any real free riding. I've, I've done a little bit, but nothing crazy, nothing like absolute boonies. I think this is Alaska. Big snow, big backcountry stuff. I've yet to even do any of my AST training, but what just terrifies me about it is sure, you have some of the gnarliest terrain and steepest terrain in the books. Like, again, you can't gauge properly just how steep and gnarly these lines that Sammy, Sammy is hitting right here, especially when you're tossing the nose bud three, just mid run in. But there's so many uncontrolled variables, uncontrolled risks when you're skiing out here. There could be a crevasse that is just covered by a fresh snowfall. You fall in and you're toast. That's it. Uh, you might not be able to properly gauge the snowpack and just get hit by an avalanche out of nowhere, even if you take all the possible precautions. It's, uh, it's complete unforgiveness out there. And he's not only going to ride it, but he's going to stun it up like crazy. Again, that Nosebud 3 mid-run was just outrageous. Look at him. And the drone work here is just gorgeous as well. Big props to everybody who had a piece in this film, man. Chopping it up. Oh, my Lord. Huge three. Wow. 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 Oh, my Lord. Just staying stuck on that spine. Oh. I love how he doesn't go for the shoes, doesn't go for the goalies. He's just straight straight to the spine. Pump it out, Cork Sev. You are kidding me. There isn't any, there's not even a lip there. Fully downward, still manages to hit the cork axis. Pumps out like it's an X game slope kicker. Oh my lord. Oh wow. I actually built a lip for something. You're crazy. Might have snake Cuban on that one, but still huge cork seven tail of some sort. Oh, it just wraps around huge Cuban. So sick. I thought I was gonna go switch backflip into there. That would have been nuts. There's that kind of like inside crit safety grab he's been throwing. Kicks it out. Kind of like a Max Moffat kick out there as well. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah, you just see a crack. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that POV was so sketchy. Like, you could just be having the best run of your life and then watch the entire surface under you completely dissolve. Mm. Oh, that's a big boot. That is a big boot. Almost completely ridden himself of the entire landing there. Huge flat sev. Just getting straight pitted. Rightfully barreled. Taking off the entire, entire top sheet of that mountain face. Again, if this was your first Sammy Carlson project, nothing surprising here. That almost hurts my stomach to say. Make sure you watch every single piece this man has come out with. Big ups to everybody who had a piece in making this project come alive. That was great.